Streaming live on News8000.com, this is News 8 Now, this morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm Alexandra Carter. I'm Jeff Andrews. It is Wednesday, January 10th, 2024. Heading out the door this morning, definitely cold, but it's not a run to your car day because you might slip on the ice, right? We've got to be careful out there. Exactly. I mean, we talked about caution on the roadways, mm -hmm. which, yes, but if you're walking at all, it's it's very slippery. You don't yeah. want to, you know, do a wipe out, so do to a, speak. Yeah, a little could, move that might get you uh, viral on social media. Yeah, exactly. Uh, break a few bones, things of that nature. Yeah. It's quiet across the area right now. Uh, we do have the conditions of the roadways and the sidewalks, but you see the cloud cover. That's what we have. The snow at this point, we do not. There's some breaks in the cloud cover, but overall, it's uh, fairly overcast. And temperature wise, it's still conducive to melting, fortunately. La Crosse is 30, 27 in Eau Claire, Black River Falls 25, 29 in Sparta, Prairie du Chien at 31. Looking at our day today, cloud cover. Winds are going to be on the lighter side compared to yesterday. Notice the percents that start popping up. About 31 lacrosse for there right now. Eau Claire, roughly the same situation, maybe a peak of sun, light winds. All right, we do have the possibility of seeing some light snow. More than likely, a few spots are going to deal with that tonight. All right, lighter variety, fluffy type snow. We are expecting a temperature change, and then we have better snow opportunities. Uh, could add up to a little bit more as we get closer to the weekend. I'll look at that in your full forecast about 10 minutes away. Alexandra? See you then, Jeff. Thank you. Now to the stories we're following right now. This morning, the wait continues for a panel of judges in D.C. to decide whether former President Donald Trump should be immune from prosecution for trying to overturn the results of the 2020 election. CBS's Jared Hill has the latest from New York. And I feel that as a president, you have to have immunity. Former President Donald Trump insisting he cannot be prosecuted. The defiant stance as he waits for a three-judge panel to make their own ruling in a case centered around whether he's immune from criminal prosecution for the events leading up to the January 6th insurrection. If a president has to look over his shoulder or her shoulder every time he or she has to make a, con a, a controversial decision and worry after I leave office, if I go into jail for this, when my political opponents take power, that inevitably dampens the ability of the president. His attorneys insisted the only time a president can be prosecuted is after they've been impeached and convicted in Congress. Prosecutors pushed back. The president has a unique constitutional role, but he is not above the law. The three-judge appeals panel also appeared skeptical. Judge Florence Pan posed a hypothetical to Trump's attorney. Could a president who ordered SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a political rival who was not impeached, would he be subject to criminal prosecution? If he were impeached and convicted first. With the Iowa caucuses on Monday, former President Trump said that the case forced him from the campaign trail, though he appeared in court voluntarily. Meanwhile, Trump's primary rivals argued his legal woes would be a distraction if he won the nomination. If Donald Trump is the nominee, the election is going to be about legal issues, criminal trials. Regardless of how the judges rule, the losing side is expected to appeal. And any appeals could make their way to the Supreme Court. That puts Trump's next trial date, March 4th, in jeopardy. And it's a busy week for the former president's legal battles. Closing arguments are expected tomorrow in his New York civil case. The House is expected to begin impeachment hearings against Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas today. This comes as several Republican lawmakers have requested to hold a vote of no confidence against him. A request for a vote was blocked by Delaware Democratic Senator Tom Carper. This also comes as Secretary Mayorkas is currently actively involved in border talks with the Senate. Back here at home this morning, have you seen this man? Police in the village of Trumpolo are asking for your help to find him. Octavio Morales is his name. He was last seen on December 22nd in downtown La Crosse. His family says he went missing from St. Joseph the Workman Cathedral. According to a Trumpolo police Facebook post, Morales was last seen wearing a black sweatshirt and white sweatpants. He was declared missing by police last night. Any information about his location should be sent to the Trumpolo Police Department. That phone number is right there on the bottom of your screen. We'll also have the police's email on our website, news8000.com. 
Wisconsin's legislative maps are in turmoil after last month's state Supreme Court ruling overturning the state's district maps as unconstitutional because they weren't contiguous. This ruling is sparking confusion and debate over what comes next. News 8 Now's Allison Fergit breaks down how we got here and what the future holds for the state legislature. With the election of Justice Janet Protasiewicz to the state Supreme Court in April, a new era of Wisconsin politics was ushered in. It was clear to basically everyone that the Wisconsin State Supreme Court was going to take another look at the district maps, and indeed they did. Protasiewicz's election flipped the court's makeup from conservative to liberal for the first time in 15 years. The day after she was sworn in, a lawsuit was filed arguing the maps were unconstitutional. We can trace the series of events that got us to now. We can trace that back to 2010. For over a decade, Democrats have argued the legislative maps unfairly favor the Republican Party. In 2011, Republicans had total control of Wisconsin government, leading both the legislature and the governorship. So Republicans have full control over the redistricting process and unsurprisingly, they use their control over the redistricting process to try to achieve more seats. It's a process known as gerrymandering, the idea of drawing boundaries in a way to favor one political party. You cram the opposing party supporters into a small number of districts and then you spread your own party's supporters across a, a wide range of districts, enough to give you a solid majority. Was partisanship considered as a consideration in the map? Yes, uh, there were certain times that partisanship was. But after over a decade, state Democrats got the news they'd been waiting for. New maps had to be drawn. The reason the court decided to throw out the maps does not hinge on the districts being unfair to one political party over another. They do so on the grounds that the districts were not all contiguous, meaning that there were some disconnected parts of districts. The Wisconsin Constitution requires legislative districts to, quote, consist of contiguous territory. It's very possible that we'll see assembly districts in our area get shifted around. In La Crosse, Jill Billings' assembly district is highly Democratic, but her district could be redrawn in a way that leads to her actually losing some of her Democratic voters. She says she's not worried about a competition. To her, it's more important that every Wisconsinite's voice is heard. People should be able to choose their legislators. The, the legislators should not be choosing the people they want to represent. That's what fair maps are all about. So I think when we have that, we have a healthier democracy. Representative Steve Doyle and State Senator Brad Papp have some of the most balanced districts in Wisconsin. They believe other districts being more like theirs would be a positive for the state. It keeps me focused on the people and not on party politics. And that's what I think we need to get back to in Wisconsin. Having a much closer balance, that will force people to really represent the state. And if we transition from parties dictating to the people dictating, that's only a good thing. They also hope new maps means more bipartisan work in the legislature. We could see both political parties recognize the fact that they need to work more towards consensus. Something state Republicans are also open to. I think it creates a little bit better dialogue with the, the other side. That will be a good thing uh, for the state of Wisconsin and residents of Wisconsin. That was Allison Fergit reporting. Democrats fight for fairer maps isn't over yet. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss has suggested the state Supreme Court ruling could be appealed, saying the U.S. Supreme Court could have final say over the state's maps. The parties involved in the lawsuit have to produce new maps by this Friday, which could give us a better idea of what those new districts could look like. State elections officials have said the maps must be in place by March 15th if they are to be used for this year's elections. The time now is 6.08, still to come on your morning news. Boeing CEO admitting fault after one of the company's planes lost a window mid-flight. We'll have the latest update for you just ahead. And this year's Consumer Electronics Show underway this morning, showing off some of the top tech trends of the year. After the break, we'll take a look at what controversial technology is in the spotlight of this year's show. But for now, we're sending you to break with something to put the good in your morning, a little something from outer space to kick off your morning. Astronomers may have solved a mystery about radio circles in the sky. The objects known as odd radio circles or ORCs were first observed in 2019. 
According to scientists, the gigantic rings span hundreds of thousands of light years and entire galaxies. Numerous theories have been proposed over the years, including that the ORCs are related to wormholes or black holes. But new research suggests the huge space rings are actually galactic wind patterns created by the explosion of massive stars. Don't go anywhere. Your consumer news at News 8 Now this morning is after the break. Where's the best place for local fresh quality meat? The Holman Locker and Meat Market, of course. Purchase a minimum of 25 pounds of 90% lean ground beef for $4.79 per pound or 85% lean for $4.49 per pound. Shop local at your Holman Locker and Meat Market and much, much more. Hardy's Double Deals start at $2.99. Choose a double cheeseburger, bacon double cheeseburger, or new barbecue bacon double cheeseburger. $2.99 never looks so good. Hardy's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. Ready? Okay. Uh, You're more than just an investor, you're an owner. That means your priorities are ours too. Our retirement tools and advice can help you leave a legacy for the ones you love. That's the value of ownership. Ever wonder why most window replacements fail? It's the installation process. Hi, I'm Steve from Clear Choice. Many companies rush through installations using the caulk and walk methods. They pop the old windows out, slap the new ones in, add a few screws and smears of caulk, then hurry on to the next job. Your window ends up barely hanging on. At Clear Choice, our weather guarding installation process ensures your windows are secure and airtight. Don't compromise on quality. Choose Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions for windows that stand the test of time. Here's our problem. Without the hearing aids in, she can't hear the low frequencies, so she doesn't hear me. I don't hear the high frequencies, so I don't hear her. It was a perfect setup, yeah. but we had to interrupt it. We had time, and we were coming down Main Street, and I turned in. It's not like you go into strangers. It's kind of family-ish to come here. You feel like you belong with them. I just think it's very comforting that they're a family business. Better Hearing Center on Alaska, next to St. Pat's Church. We know you care, but if this is all too real for you and your loved ones, make the call, because we care too. Home instead. To us, it's personal. Now at Hardy's, two hand-breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. Choose your favorite flavors for endless combinations. Two wraps, just $5. Hardy's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. Home and Locker and Meat Market, your place for fresh, quality, local meat. Now's the time to stock up with our Winter Freezer Filler Bundle. Call and order yours today. Eat healthy, shop local at your Home and Locker and Meat Market, and much, much more. Just about quarter after six. Thanks for being with us. 612 to be exact. See a lot of cloud cover across the area. Some breaks in the clouds. You look off to the west. There are some snowflakes, but it's generally just cloudy skies for us. La Crosse is 30 right now, Winona 28, Decora 23, Prairie du Chien's at 31, 27 Eau Claire 29 for Lady Smith. Highs expected generally around 30 today, but I'm going to walk you through it. West Salem, Berry Mills, La Crosse on Alaska, all about 31 for the high temperature today. Further south, Prairie du Chien about 32. Linksville 32 as well, Harpers Ferry, Lansing 31, Stoddard also expecting a high about 31, 30 Blair for the high today, Fountain City 30, 27, Lewiston further north, 31 Chippewa Falls, the Chippewa Valley generally 30, low 30s, Cornell about 30, 30 uh, also for Bloomer's high temperature today, a lot of cloud cover, you're outside. I'd expect temperatures in that range really through the whole day today, pickup time, same situation, a lot of the schools started a little later this morning. Slick roadways, the uh, Department of Transportation, state, county, local have done great, but still we have some slick spots, so be cautious. More light snow ahead, we'll go through that. I have your full forecast in about five minutes.
In your consumer news this morning, Boeing CEO is admitting fault after one of the company's planes lost an entire window mid-flight. Last Friday, a Boeing 737 MAX operated by Alaska Airlines had to make an emergency landing in Portland after part of the plane broke off from the fuselage at 16,000 feet. Remarkably, nobody was killed in the incident. Now, Boeing CEO David Calhoun says the terrifying event is due to a, quote, mistake by his company. It's believed a manufacturing error led to the window coming loose mid-flight. Honda is unveiling a new line of electric vehicles. Take a look. The automaker's latest concepts are on display at a consumer electronics show in Las Vegas this week. The first of the proposed EV models would go into production in 2026. The Japanese carmaker said last year it planned to invest $40 billion to create these new electric vehicles. It currently trails other major automakers in EV sales. BlackRock is announcing plans to lay off about 3% of its workforce. The world's largest asset manager says it'll let about 600 employees go in total. The move comes as the firm says it needs to reshuffle its resources to deal with financial industry technology trends. But the New York-based group says it still expects to end the year with more employees than it started with. BlackRock shares dropping about 0.6% in response to the announcement. This year's Consumer Electronics Show kicked off yesterday at the Las Vegas Convention Center. The conference shows off some of the biggest tech trends of the year. And this year, the convention is spotlighting advances in artificial intelligence. Ivan Rodriguez gives us an inside look. From toothbrushes to tell you when you missed a spot, to grills that measure the thickness of your meat, to hit the perfect temperature faster. The name of the game at this year's Consumer Electronics Show is AI. If you think about all the products you own that call themselves smart, smartphones, smart watches, smart TVs, and then really think about it, they're not really smart yet. They're connected, they're adapted, they're personalizable. But to really be smart and anticipate your needs, that's where they're going to need AI. With AI at the top of everyone's mind, the question is, how soon before smart devices become smarter than us? It'll take a few years for all these tech products to get AI and get smart. Doesn't happen overnight or at one CES. But when it does happen, you're gonna find that these products are so much easier to use and deliver so much more. The Las Vegas event is the largest consumer tech conference of the year. The show will feature more than 4,000 exhibitors and 1,200 startups from all over the world. It has been a pretty reliable weather vane of what's going to be important in consumer technology in the year ahead. Beyond AI, CNET editor-at-large Brian Cooley says the big trend this year is personalization. So that services start to make themselves work as opposed to us always having to push and click and search and like and create our own preferences. It's time for technology to sense our preferences. Getting a little too smart, maybe. Well, that does it for your morning consumer news. The time now is 6.17. Let's check in with News 8 meteorologist Jeff Andrews for a look at that forecast. Hey, Jeff. Alexandra, yes, the uh, morning greets us with some slick conditions out there. From the blowing and drifting from yesterday, more in the rural areas, there's still a little bit of that to contend with. The sidewalks you're walking, they're slippery, but overall, no removal. Went really, really well. It's quiet as we look at... Uh, Camera 8 right now. So far totals from yesterday. I'm still gathering them. Wanted to give you a general idea of what we saw yesterday. Eau Claire, 2 inches versus Prairie du Chien, 9 inches of snow. Kind of the expectations. We figured north to south the conditions would deteriorate. Vernon, 7.8 inches. Gaze Mills, pretty close to what Prairie du Chien had. 8.4 inches of snow. Caledonia, about 6 inches. This is what I'm watching for additional snow for us at this point. Here's what uh, the East Coast is getting, the remnants of what we had yesterday. A lot of cloud cover for us across our area right now. That's really about it. Off to the west, you can see a few flurries, but it's just cloud cover at this point. At 30 degrees in La Crosse, feels like 25. A light wind, much lighter than yesterday. The winds will be on the lighter side today. You'll feel the breeze, west-northwest wind. It's not a warm breeze. 27 Eau Claire, cloudy skies, the winds as well light. I just want to show you across the area. That's the situation across all of our viewing area. The winds on the calmer side. And right on Sky Tracker, the cloud cover, then we start to see the potential of light snow. It starts three o'clock this afternoon. As you can see, as I take you a little further into the evening hours, you see a fair amount of coverage of the light 
fluffy snow as we get towards 8, 9 o'clock tonight. Should be fairly quick and then out. Could end up seeing a little bit of sunshine as we finish out our Thursday, but then ahead of another system that could bring us some substantial snowfall. The track's shifting a little bit, a little early to narrow that one down, but we're watching it. Snowfall totals from this afternoon and evening, likely in that one to two inch range across the area. By the time we get into Thursday morning, maybe tacking on a little bit more, but that's likely towards the eastern portion of the state. A light one, like I said. Cloudy skies, about 30-ish for our, our temperatures throughout the day today, as you can see. That's pretty much everybody. Viroqua 29 versus 31 lacrosse. Not a lot of variation. Dropping to 21 tonight with a light snow potential. Our Thursday, probably a break. 26 for the high temperature, partly sunny skies. On Friday, at least Thursday night into Friday, pretty good chance of seeing some measurable snowfall. Watching it pretty close, 25 for the high. Then we head towards some really chilly temperatures towards the weekend. Single digit highs and below zero and single digits for lows. All right, Jeff, thank you. Time now is 620. Still ahead on your morning news. Snow plows are taking to the streets this morning in an effort to clear the roads before your morning commute. Coming up, News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall rode along with one snowplow driver and got to learn firsthand some of the obstacles these drivers face. The focus was on the wrestling mat last night. Cooley Conference rivals clashing in Galesville. Plus, we had some action on the hardwood as well. Logan hosting West Salem, Holman hosting GET. All those highlights coming up in the Blitz. At Doll Auto, we've had customers ask, why are your prices so low? The simple answer is, we price our pre-owned vehicles to sell. When you're shopping around, we want you asking, why are their prices so high? Doll Auto. Spectrum Mobile brings you our best deal to start the new year. Now you can get unlimited mobile for $15 per line. Switch to Spectrum Mobile Unlimited for just $15 per line with no added taxes or hidden fees and no contracts. Save over $1,400 for the first year. Call 855-231-7007. Spectrum Mobile includes nationwide 5G and the fastest wireless speeds with unlimited talk, text, and data. Switch to Spectrum Mobile Unlimited for just $15 per line. Call 855-231-7007 or visit a Spectrum store near you. I'm, 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 hold on, I'm coming. You didn't tell me you were getting McDonald's. Buy a sausage biscuit, sausage McMuffin, or sausage McGriddles and get one for one dollar. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. How much time do you spend comparing prices on pre-owned vehicles? At Doll Auto, we're comparing prices every day, all week, all year because we want our price to be the best price by far. Doll Auto. The First Warren Weather App. Download it today. Welcome to the Blitz. Mother Nature getting in the way of the high school sports schedule last night, but wrestlers, they're tough. A little bit of snow didn't stop two Cooley Conference rivals from clashing on the mat. Let's head to Galesville, big time matchup at GET. Titans playing host to rival West Salem Bangor. Catbirds off to a hot start at 175. Isaiah Murphy scores the pin. West Salem goes up 10. But here comes GET Melman at 285. Cisco Jimenez gets the takedown. Look at the confidence. Jimenez with a smile on his face. Just a matter of time before he gets the pin. 15 straight for the Titans. They lead it by five. Then at 106, Colton Koss picking up where he left off at Bi-State. Gets a major decision over Tegan Moore. GET Melman goes up nine. It's 19 to 10. Home team wasn't done. At 113, Coda Perney scores the pinfall over Kaysen Anderson. 
Titans running away with it. It's 29-10. Not so fast, though. Catbird's clawing back. Let's go to 126. Jarrett Pumadol going to work. Gets the hard-fought pin. West Salem Bangor cuts it back to 13. And then at 138, Mason Chambers gets the Catbirds closer. His pin makes it a 10-point match. 144 now. Titans looking for the clincher. Scott Johnson trailing by one, but with seconds left in the third. Johnson gets the reversal. And talk about clutch. The buzzer sounds. Johnson gets the 4-3 win. Titans go up 13 with two matches to go. And that clinches it. GET Melman gets the win over West Salem Bangor, 41 to 26. Basketball players are tough too. Let's go to Logan. Rangers at home hosting West Salem. Panthers punch first in this one. Kyle Healy knocks down the triple. West Salem goes up by three, but the Rangers respond. Look at the passing. Bradley check, no look to Johnny Lever down low for the bucket. Logan goes up one. Other end, Tamari and Henderson starts going to work. Pretty finish off the glass. West Salem back in front. Panthers start pulling away. Nathan Carr heats up this one from NBA range. You bet. West Salem up seven. And then check out this play from Henderson. First half winding down. What a finish by the senior. Just that kind of night for the Panthers. They roll to the win. 89-57 the final over Logan. Over at Holman High, Vikings hosting GET. Cody Schmitz averaging 31 points a game this year. He was locked in early on. First half, Schmitz in the post. Spin move into the fadeaway. He knocks it down. And then on the defensive end, he's going to get the steal. And on the fast break, makes a perfect pass to Mason Brown, who puts it in. Plus the foul. Red Hawks cruising. Then it's Schmitz again. Crossover. Dives to the hoop. Lays it up and in. GET goes up a dozen. But here come the Vikings. Peyton Seacamp kicks it out to Alex Burgett in the corner. His three ball is good. Vikings cut into the lead. Later, Seacamp again. Finding the hot hand, it's Burgett. Knocks down another three. Sophomore finishes with 21. But the Red Hawks find another gear. Schmitz pull up jumper over the triple team. Still gets it to go. Red Hawks would pull away in the second half. They get the win 83 to 62. Schmitz finishes with 41 on the night. To the NBA we go. Timberwolves continue their road trip down in Orlando. First quarter action, Wolves up 12. Nas Reed dumps it back to Carl Anthony Towns. That three is good. Minnesota adds to its lead. Second quarter now, Mike Conley pick and roll. Gets it to Towns. Are you kidding? Cat brings down the hammer. One more look. That was nasty. Second half we go now. Conley to Anderson. Going to find Rudy Gobert. He's going to bring down the one-handed slam. Wolves dunking on everyone last night. They get the win, 113 to 92. That's going to do it for the Blitz. We'll see you tonight. High V hot deals are burning hot. Get bone in pork shoulder roast, just $1.48 a pound. Marie Callender's bowls or healthy choice steamers, just $1.88. And buy two, get two free on select Coke products. Only at High V. 30 years ago, it was my job to convince people to buy overpriced stuff they couldn't afford, they didn't want, and they didn't even need. Well, after doing that for two years, I decided people need to be informed, not convinced. So don't you think it's time to discover Firefighters Credit Union where you can be informed and not convinced? Cause everybody's welcome at Firefighters Credit Union. Made in America Showplace Cabinetry is the solid foundation for your new kitchen. Styles and features from simple to spectacular. Showplace offers all the modern features you want. The board store designers delight in helping you choose the cabinets, countertops, sink, backsplash, flooring, and lighting that make your dream kitchen a reality. Enjoy peace of mind knowing your kitchen will be installed by the board store's carpenters, plumbers, and electrician. Showplace Cabinets and the Board Store, your winning combination. Get started today. With six crunchy beef tacos plus a pound of potato Olays, our six pack and a pound is perfect for date night, movie night, thousand piece puzzle night, camping, tailgates, or any day that ends in Y. Get $2 off the six pack and a pound, only from Taco John's. What if my type two diabetes takes over? What if all I do isn't enough? Or what if I can do diabetes differently? Now you can with Once Weekly Manjaro. Manjaro helps your body regulate blood sugar. And Manjaro can help decrease how much food you eat. 
three out of four people reached an A1C of less than 7%. Plus, people taking Mount Jaro lost up to 25 pounds. Mount Jaro is not for people with type 1 diabetes or children. Don't take Mount Jaro if you're allergic to it. You or your family have medullary thyroid cancer or multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Stop Mount Jaro and call your doctor right away if you have an allergic reaction, a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, vision changes, or diabetic retinopathy. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis and gallbladder problems. Taking Mount Jaro with sulfonylurea or insulin raises low blood sugar risk. Tell your doctor if you're nursing, pregnant, or plan to be. Side effects include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, which can cause dehydration and may worsen kidney problems. I can do diabetes differently with Manjaro. Ask your doctor about once weekly Manjaro. Save every day with High V Perks prices. Campbell's Chunky or Well Yes Soup. High V Perks price $1.99. Fresh Express Garden Salad. High V Perks price $1.48. And Orita Potatoes. High V Perks price $4.99. Sign up for High V Perks today. News 8, your home for Super Bowl 58. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. In your morning medical news, the Biden administration is launching a new program intended to help reduce preventable deaths. The new Health Care Rewards to Achieve Improved Outcomes, or HEROES program, would allow the Department of Health and Human Services to focus in on and address two initiatives chosen from the four potential focus areas, opioid overdoses, cardiovascular disease, alcoholism, and maternal mortality. New research is finding nearly everyone holds babies the same way. After looking into the reason why most people hold infants in their left arm, researchers say one of the main reasons is people naturally want to keep their dominant arm free. This allows people to do other things while holding the infant. And for most people, their right arm just happens to be stronger than their left. The American Red Cross is warning they are in dire need of blood donations. The organization says they provide roughly 40% of the nation's blood supply. Mandy Gaither reports on the shortage and takes a look at how you can help. A state of emergency. The American Red Cross says blood supplies are critically low across the U.S. We don't particularly like declaring emergencies. We're only doing it because the need is that great. The organization's medical director says an additional 8,000 blood donations are needed each week in January to keep up with hospital demand. Without an increase in blood donation over the next couple of weeks, there won't be enough blood in hospital blood banks in order to allow doctors to respond to emergencies. Low blood supplies impact surgeries and people with chronic diseases like sickle cell and cancer who require blood and platelet transfusions. The Red Cross says the number of people donating blood in the U.S. has fallen by about 40 percent over the last two decades. And winter weather and respiratory viruses could impact donor turnout in the weeks ahead, making the current shortage even worse. While all blood types are urgently needed, the Red Cross says they're especially in need of platelets and blood from Group O donors. There's no way to get blood from anywhere besides a donor's arm. And that blood that you donate could be used to save the life of somebody who's been in a car accident. Um, it could be used to help save a newborn baby. Um, or it could be used to help get a cancer patient through their treatment. If you're interested in donating, you can make an appointment with the Red Cross by downloading their app, visiting their website, or by calling 1-800-RED-CROSS. Yesterday, we reported on the FCC's warning about increases in Internet costs for some households due to a discount program set to run out of funding. This morning, we're learning the program may soon get that funding. Lawmakers are now proposing $7 billion in additional funding for the Affordable Connectivity Program. The initiative would provide monthly discounts of $30 to low-income households and up to $75 for those eligible on tribal lands. The proposed funding is expected to make its way to both the House and Senate today. 
Menards will pay substantial back wages, damages and penalties after an investigation found violations of protections for nursing mothers. The retailer will also undergo a statewide audit of all of its Minnesota stores. The Minnesota Department of Labor investigation found Menards deducted wages from employees for the time they spent pumping breast milk and retaliated against a worker who filed a complaint. In addition to those back wages and compensation for the affected employees, Menards also has to pay more than $15,000 in penalties for the violations. The Labor Department says this case shows employees should not have to choose between properly caring for their child and getting their full pay or job security. Wisconsin lawmakers are trying to rename the Toma VA Medical Center. Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin and Republican Representative Derek Van Orden introducing a bill to rename it after Jason Simkakowski. According to a release by the congressman, he was a Wisconsin veteran who died after battling addiction to opioids prescribed by the VA. Senator Baldwin says renaming the VA will honor Jason's legacy and the work done to end opioid addiction in veterans. Representative Van Orden says the renaming will ensure Jason's story is never forgotten. Snow plow drivers are back on the roads this morning, cleaning up from yesterday's winter storm. But even with the little bit of snow, clearing the road still has its challenges. News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall reports on some of the obstacles snow plow drivers face in the harsh weather. Jason Wooden has been plowing roads for 15 years. Like any job, it has its obstacles. For him, the biggest obstacle is dealing with parked cars and knowing where to put the snow. Well, we do a lot of hotels and apartment buildings, and every time you go to do them, they're different. There's cars in your way, there's people in your way, there's deliveries, there's, there's always something in your way. You just gotta roll with it. A change in temperature can make things worse. When it's below zero outside, it's very hard on equipment. Blizzards can also be tough for Wooden. No matter how big or small the snowstorm is, he encourages drivers to give themselves a good amount of space if behind a plow truck and to make sure your car isn't parked too close to it. If a parking lot's empty on one side, don't park or don't park in front of us while we're plowing. It happens all the time. During the winter, Wooden stays busy doing some landscaping, but he's always ready to go for the next snowstorm. And remember to be patient if you're driving behind a snowplow. Don't stop in front of them and keep your distance. Time now is 636. Here is News 8 meteorologist Jeff Andrews to tell us what to expect for our morning commute. It's a bit slippery out there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, driving uh, and or walking. They did a nice job. This is I-90 and 16 on Alaska. You can see the roadway is looking pretty good. Certainly snow in the median. That's the general consensus across the area. The uh, road crews have done an awesome job. I'd say caution across the day today. Light snow potential as we get into the afternoon and the evening hours. But even with that said, still caution. There are some slick spots to deal with. Even some drifting in some locations too. A lot of cloud cover across the area at this point. That's really about it. A few breaks. Temperature wise, upper set, uh, 20s and low 30s at this point. Black River Falls, 24, 28, Sparta and Viroqua, 30 right now, La Crosse, Eau Claire is at 27, 31 ish uh, for our high today. The slick spots on the roadway is northwest breeze about 10 miles an hour. Tonight down to 21 with light snow developing. Still have a little bit of a breeze. Eau Claire situation, cloudy, light snow perhaps this afternoon, perhaps an inch of snow. Northwest winds about 10 miles an hour. Tonight down to 25. All right, we get closer to the weekend, potentially more substantial snow. Going to look at that. I have your full forecast. That is coming up in about five minutes. going to play the whole song. Why not? Yeah, the, the, yeah, the birthday <laughs> song. You? Yes, well, you know what that song means. It's time for today's Look Who's 8. 
Tate is turning eight years old today. He loves football, baseball, and hunting with his dad. Yeah, you got something there. Yeah, it looks like a deer or something. We've got Abby also turning eight. She loves all animals, playing outside, swimming, and reading. Daryl is also turning eight today. He loves sports, dreams of playing football for the Wisconsin Badgers when he gets older. Happy birthday to all of them. And if you know a special someone turning eight weeks, eight months, eight years, 18, 80, or 88 years old soon, we'd love to feature them. That's right. Upload your photo, News 8000. Com. There's a submit photo tab. It's on the homepage. Stay with us. We'll have lacrosse rabbi Brian Searle in studio live with us next to talk about how the local Jewish community has been affected by Israel's war with Hamas. During the New Year's sale at PM Sleep Center, save up to $600 on select Beautyrest Black and Black Hybrid mattresses. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving LaCrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. Hardy's Double Deals start at $2.99. Choose a double cheeseburger, bacon double cheeseburger, or new barbecue bacon double cheeseburger. $2.99 never looks so good. Hardy's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. Are you looking for a high paying career without any experience? Chart Industries has the opportunity you've been waiting for. Starting wage $30 per hour, highest pay in the area, guaranteed 40 hours, and so much more. If you are making less than $60,000 and want a healthy work life balance, apply at jobs.chartindustries.com today. That's jobs.chartindustries.com. Hey, Dominic here with great recipes using our Italian pleasing. For Italian mushrooms, use a pint of mushrooms, one stick of butter, and one tablespoon of Italian pleasing. Put in a slow cooker and cook on high for four hours. For Italian green beans, fry four chopped slices of bacon with one half chopped onion. Cook one bag of green beans, combine everything, add in one teaspoon of Italian pleasing. Get Italian pleasing and over 40 other blends at the Pleasing Outlet Store on Ward Avenue, La Crosse. Mwah! Only at Vanguard, you're more than just an investor, you're an owner. That means your priorities are ours, too. Our retirement tools and advice can help you leave a legacy for the ones you love. That's the value of ownership. Right now with Papa Murphy's, we've got a great deal. Which means I make more great pizza. It's not an I thing, Dad, it's a we thing. Get a large, two-topping, take-and-bake pizza for just $10.99. Order now at papamurphys.com. Now at Hardy's, two hand-breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. Choose your favorite flavors for endless combinations. Two wraps, just $5. Hardy's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. During the New Year's sale at PM Sleep Center, save up to $600 on select Beautyrest Black and Black Hybrid mattresses. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving LaCrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. Getting pretty close to quarter to seven. Glad you're with us. About 642 right now. Looking at the roadways, best that I can tell. City Cam 8, they're actually in pretty good shape. Our side streets, yeah, we're in good shape, really. A lot of uh, work done by the plows. Snowfall yesterday, uh, we saw some substantial amounts. It varied across the area. In La Crosse, uh, about 4.2 inches. Eau Claire, a couple inches. So far this season, La Crosse, 9.1 inches of snow. Eau Claire, 7.6. Normally for the year, this is what we see at this point. So, all right, this is what I'm watching for our next round of snowfall. Lighter snow yesterday. East Coast is getting it again. Give you a close shot what's going on or not. It's just a lot of cloud cover across the area. Some breaks in the clouds, perhaps it's 30 in La Crosse. Just a little bit of a wind chill. The winds are light out of the west northwest situation. Pretty similar in Eau Claire. It's 27 right now. The winds light across the whole area. That makes things a little more pleasant outside. You can see that 
They're roughly out of the west northwest on Sky Tracker. Taking you into the afternoon, you see the light snow potential. Mid afternoon, here's Eau Claire, Lady Smith. Area south, it's pretty spotty, but then we get into the evening hours. This is towards 9 o'clock tonight, you see. A lot of coverage around the area, not necessarily everybody, but uh, certainly a lot more coverage at that point. Pretty quick mover, then perhaps maybe some sunshine on our Thursday, but we got another go round after that. Snowfall potential from this one this afternoon and evening. Pretty minimal, as you can see, an inch, maybe two inches of snow out of this one, the fluffy snow. All right, here's a bigger picture of what it looks like. All right, going to take you to what is coming beyond that. This is, we got, this is Thursday night towards 9 o'clock. You can see where the light snow is, the system to our south. And this, the duration in several waves could take us into Saturday morning. Here's Friday afternoon across the area. The core of the system really looks way to our south, but that doesn't mean we're not going to get something out of it. And this is Saturday morning yet where we're still seeing some light snow at that point. Cloudy skies today, generally around 30 degrees with a northwest wind. Now as we go a little further, all right, 26 for the high on our Thursday tomorrow. All right, partly sunny skies on Friday, Thursday night, actually into Friday. Pretty good chance to see in some light snow, about 25 for the high. On our Saturday, perhaps some light snow, at least the first portion of the day. Look at those temperatures dropping. 17 for the high on Saturday, only three on Sunday. Burr. Burr is right. Well, uh, new this morning, as Israel's war against Hamas continues to rage on with no end in sight and anti-Semitism surges nationwide, we're joined this morning by Rabbi Brian Searle from Congregation Sons of Abraham in La Crosse to talk more about the conflict and the impact. So good morning, Rabbi. Thank you so much for joining us. It's great to be here with you, Alexander. Thank you so much. So Hanukkah wrapped up a, a few weeks ago now. Was the holiday season, how, did it feel different this year in light of October 7th? Well, we certainly were in a good time for celebration because uh, in October 7th, which is just now uh, about 90 days uh, ago, mm -hmm. uh, over 1,200 Israelis were killed and a couple hundred were taken hostage. Uh, it's hard to celebrate when your friends, family, and uh, neighbors are still in tunnels in Gaza, uh, not getting proper care, medical care, food, etc. But we want every excuse to celebrate uh, life and to celebrate this time of year. Where season of lights is really good when it's dark out. And these yeah. are the darkest days of the year, the shortest days of the year. So. You need a little light for yes. sure. Any misconceptions that people have uh, in regards to the, the war, the Jewish people, anything off the top of your well, head? Thanks for asking. Many uh, news outlets have portrayed this war, uh, which is really a struggle between Palestinians and Israelis, as an occupation. Uh, first of all, Jews are not occupiers or colonial settlers. We've lived in the area for over 2,000 years under the Persians, the Egyptians, the Greeks, the Romans, the British Empire. Uh, they're not going anywhere. So it's uh, the big, big misconception that the Jews are interlopers coming from another, uh, another place. There are some Europeans, uh, but most of the current citizens, uh, citizens of Israel are from the Middle East. Okay. So. And uh, we're also seeing a rise in anti-Semitism around the country, um, college campuses in particular. What can we do to combat this? Well, there's plenty of Jew hatred in this country well before this war uh, between the Jews and the Arabs. We don't need a war to get people to dislike us. Hatred against any group in America is an act of hatred against all of us. We all suffer from this hatred. Uh, expressing these negative feelings tramples on the rights of all of us who want to be free in America. It's not just directed at Jews. It's hate that's directed at African Americans, Latinos, uh, Muslim Americans, or gays. Uh, we all suffer when hate is out there, and this hatred is directed against groups that are often targeted. Uh, our goal is to uh, spread love in face of hate. That's the only thing that's going to work is positive energy to offset all the negativity. All right, since the attacks, October 7th, all right, and people have attempted to downplay the severity. Some have. Uh, even claim that uh, it didn't happen at all. Your thoughts on that? Well, th good question. The Nazis did everything possible to keep their crimes private. Hamas has done the opposite. They've done everything possible to make their crimes public. They recorded video of their murders and rapes and tortures. They used the victim's own cell phones and uploaded the video to their own Facebook pages and to the cloud. Kids boasted to their families about killing Jews, not Israelis, but Jews. Many of the people who were murdered were not Jews, by the way. Uh, for people from other countries. Few people are denying that these uh, crimes did not take place. The evil is that many people don't want to believe that modern people are able to do this against other human beings. That's the real denial. 
So uh, here in La Crosse, how can people support their friends in the Jewish community? Uh, good question. I have to tell you, I'm overwhelmed by the love and support we've gotten from the uh, interfaith community. Uh, I can't begin to tell you how many dozens of people have come up to me at festival or Woodman's or Quick Trip and say, Rabbi, you know, we're praying for Israel. We're praying for the Jewish people. We want to know that you have our support. And I want to let you know that the Jewish community here in the Cooley region received over 100 emails and text messages from our neighbors. Uh, I've been asked to speak at the colleges locally, of course, here on, on TV. And uh, we've gotten lots of contacts from Tammy Baldwin and Derek Van Orden. So much support. And we, they also asked me to come and preach in the churches in town. So it, the support has been overwhelming. That's great. Yeah, we do have a, a strong community. So final question here. Um, you know, some people may, may look at the news and they want to turn away. You know, they, they're not Jewish. They don't know anyone Jewish. They don't know anyone Palestinian. They think it doesn't impact them. What's your message to them? Well, I'm old enough to remember 9-11. 9-11 uh, should have destroyed that fantasy that the rest of the world is separate from us. It pains me to say this, but this is a war against our West, Western civilization and our way of life. It says in the Hamas Charter uh, that they want to uh, destroy Western civilization. This is, if this was just about dignity for the Palestinians, sign me up. Palestine and Israel living side by side in peace? Absolutely. Uh, but it's a terrorist movement that wants to destroy everything we hold dear. Liberal values, equality between men and women, LGBTQ acceptance. None of these things are on the Hamas agenda. For me, Israel's not waging a war against the Palestinians, but rather a terrorist army in Hamas. The Palestinians would be happy to be free of such a government. All right, well, Rabbi Brian Searle, thank you so much for joining us this morning and sharing your perspective with us. Stay with us, we'll be right back after this break. Ashley's New Year's sale is extended. It's your last chance to shop Hot Buys for every room of your home. And right now you can shop new collections with 0% interest through January 2029 in-store only. Celebrate and save today, only at Ashley. What if my type 2 diabetes takes over? What if all I do isn't enough? Or what if I can do diabetes differently? Now you can with Once Weekly Manjaro. Manjaro helps your body regulate blood sugar. And Manjaro can help decrease how much food you eat. Three out of four people reached an A1C of less than 7%. Plus, people taking Manjaro lost up to 25 pounds. Manjaro is not for people with type 1 diabetes or children. Don't take Manjaro if you're allergic to it. You or your family have medullary thyroid cancer or multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Stop Manjaro and call your doctor right away if you have an allergic reaction, a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, vision changes, or diabetic retinopathy. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis and gallbladder problems. Taking Manjaro with sulfonylurea or insulin raises low blood sugar risk. Tell your doctor if you're nursing, pregnant, or plan to be. Side effects include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, which can cause dehydration and may worsen kidney problems. I can do diabetes differently with Monjaro. Ask your doctor about once weekly Monjaro. Our composite windows are the clear choice for your home. This window is 12 times stronger than vinyl, 2,000% more airtight, and 40% more energy efficient. All at a price less than what many companies charge for vinyl windows. What does this mean for you and your home? Our composite windows make you more comfortable and save on your energy bills. You're such a window nerd. I've done my research so you don't have to. Come visit our new showroom and test the window nerd's knowledge. Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions. Your choice for quality, affordable windows. We know you care. But if this is all too real for you and your loved ones, make the call. Because we care too. Home instead. To us, it's personal. Ashley's New Year's mattress sale is extended with 0% interest through January 2029 on in-store mattress purchases. Get 50% off select Sealy mattresses or 25% off select Ashley Sleep mattresses only at Ashley.
Welcome back. It's 652. Time for your morning news now. Have you seen this man? Police in the village of Trompolo asking for help locating this missing person. Octo Octavio Morales was last seen December 22nd in downtown La Crosse. His family says he went missing from St. Joseph the Workman Cathedral. According to Trompolo Police Facebook post, he was last seen wearing a black sweatshirt and white sweatpants. He was declared missing by police last night. Any information about his whereabouts should be sent to the Trompolo Police Department. That phone number right there on the bottom of your screen. We'll also have more contact information, including the police email, on our website, news8000.com. Wisconsin Supreme Court overturned the state's legislative maps, ruling them unconstitutional because the districts weren't contiguous and area legislators are looking forward to a potentially more bipartisan future. Representative Jill Billings Assembly District is highly Democratic, but her district could be redrawn in a way that leads to her actually losing some of her Democratic voters. She says she's not worried about competition, though. To her, it's more important that every Wisconsinite's voice is heard. People should be able to choose their legislators. The, the legislators should not be choosing the people they want to represent. That's what fair maps are all about. So I think when we have that, we have a healthier democracy. Democrats fight for fairer maps not quite over, though. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss has suggested the state Supreme Court ruling could be appealed, saying the U.S. Supreme Court could have final say over the state maps. The first winter storm of the season now uh, has been here and gone. Even though there wasn't much snow, cloud drivers still face some challenges. Part of those challenges include below zero temperatures, which can make it harder for them to use their equipment. But for one driver, the biggest obstacles are dealing with parked cars and knowing where to put all that snow. But well, we do a lot of hotels and apartment buildings, and every time you go to do them, they're different. There's cars in your way, there's people in your way, there's deliveries, there's, there's always something in your way. You just gotta roll with it. The city of Onalaska also has its road crews back on the roads today. Uh, according to them, they will focus on size of the street they did not get to yesterday. Another day for snow removal, at least during the daytime hours. Cloud cover, that's what we have right now. Most of the day, it will be cloudy. Now we get to the afternoon hours, some spots. You see Eau Claire, Ladysmith, maybe some light snow in the afternoon. We roll into the evening. We start to see a little more coverage. Light, fluffy snow on our Wednesday. Temperatures hanging around 30 through the day today. Winds lighter, dropping down to 21 tonight. For our Thursday, cloudy 26. Those highs are going to be dropping back. Potentially some substantial snow as we get closer to the weekend as well. All right, well, today is a day to shine a light on the challenges faced by a uniquely American species, the bald eagle. Today is National Save the Eagles Day. Um, the national bird was taken off the endangered list in 2007 thanks to the efforts of conservationists and the general public. But scientists say there's more work to do to protect the eagle from threats like poaching and pesticides. It really is a remarkable creature. Have you ever spotted one in the wild? I actually, like as close I as you, you and I, I, I once upon a time early in my career did a story on some eagles that were displaced and I was like, too close. Wow, yeah, that must it have been It was neat, kind of but it was, I was like, I was, I was afraid. I bet, yeah, they, bit. yeah, they are um, intimidating for sure. They can get angry. <laughs> All right, well, thank you everyone for joining us this morning. We will see you back here at noon. Have a great day.